When it comes to dedicated processors for home theaters, the price can range anywhere from around $2,500 to upwards of tens of thousands of dollars. Well, today we're gonna look at one of the lowest price processors on the market today, and that is the Marantz AV7706. Now, if this is the first time that we're meeting, my name is Michael Stevens with Youthman Reviews. I make content on home theater tips, tours, as well as product reviews like this. So if that interests you, make sure you're subscribed. Now I've been using the Marantz AV7706 dedicated processor in my home theater for about the past five months. Now in that five months, I've watched a ton of content ranging from concert Blu-rays to movies, as well as a lot of gaming on my PS5. Now in this video, I'll share with you my thoughts and experience over the past five months. We're gonna talk about aesthetics, we're gonna talk about features, as well as how the product has performed and how does it sound. Now Marantz AVRs and processors really haven't changed that much over the past eight, nine, maybe even 10 years. They have the same brushed aluminum, uh, we've got the rounded corners, it has a really stylish front look and appeal, but honestly, I would love to see Marantz come out with a brand new look, a brand new design, and honestly, even that little porthole on the front, I'd love to see it disappear. Now that may kind of ruffle some feathers if you really like that, but in my opinion, it really just doesn't offer a lot of value to the consumer. It's a small amount of space to allocate for any real information and the size of it makes it difficult to see from a good seating distance. Now in previous interviews, I've asked some of the Marantz officials if they had any plans to change that portal and they really said that they didn't. They really think that it gives a nod and kind of a tribute to some of their heritage and their roots because that porthole has been in a lot of their products for many decades. So whether or not we'll see that change in the near future, probably not. Now, if we look at the front of the unit, I really do like the access panel that they have on the front. So simply press on the bottom and it opens up that door. Now behind the door, we see all kinds of additional options and features and different buttons. But honestly, in my past five months, I don't think I've ever really used the front door except to connect the Odyssey calibration microphone. So in my setup, I tend to leave that door closed. So it leaves a very clean and minimalistic look on the front panel. Now when it comes to features, the AV7706 has pretty much every feature that you could possibly imagine. It has audio processing for all of the latest immersive audio formats, such as Dolby Atmos, DTS-X, Oro 3D, as well as IMAX Enhanced. If we look at the rear of the unit, we've got a lot of HDMI inputs as well as outputs. Now this allows the 7706 to just really become the main hub of your entire home theater. There's plenty of inputs for things like gaming consoles like the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. You can connect things like a 4K player as well as things like an Nvidia Shield. Now all seven HDMI inputs will accept a 4K signal and one will accept an 8K signal. Now if you use the apps in your TV to stream say Netflix, Hulu, maybe Amazon Prime into the 7706, one great feature is ARC as well as eARC. This will allow you to send the audio from your TV into your Marantz and then out from there to your speakers. Now in my dedicated theater room, I have a projector, so there are no built-in features, so ARC and eARC really aren't needed in my setup. Now if you enjoy listening to music on your setup, the 7706 does have AirPlay 2 as well as HEOS that allows you to stream from your phone or your tablet into the unit. And because the 7706 is a dedicated processor and not an AVR, it does not have internal amplification. So you'll need to pair this with one or more amplifiers. Now with the 7706, there are two different ways that you can connect a dedicated amplifier or multiple amplifiers. You can either use the unbalanced RCA preouts or the balanced XLR preouts. Now during the initial setup of the 7706, Marantz does a great job at walking you through step by step on the various aspects of the receiver. It'll ask you how many speakers you have, where you have those located in your room, and the graphical user interface is just very visual appealing as well as very informative and easy to follow. 
So if you're new to home theater, you can still go with a separate dedicated processor and be able to set that up with ease. Now, for those of you that are very familiar with setting up an AVR, you still may wanna go through that initial setup process because again, it just makes it really easy to set up your speakers and configure the unit for your setup. Now, I've reviewed several other processors from different brands over the past three and a half years, and the Marantz definitely has the easiest setup process by far. Now, the 7706 does utilize Odyssey XT32. And one thing I would highly recommend is to purchase the additional $20 Odyssey app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. The app gives you more flexibility and more options during calibration. You've got controls of things like uh, mid-range compensation. You can add a curtain. You can also even add your own house curve within the app. And one of the biggest features of the app that I really like is being able to save different Odyssey configurations. So where this is beneficial is let's say for instance, you use your home theater for both music as well as movies. Well, of course, you're gonna have different calibration and different setup when watching movies than when you're listening to two channel music. So with the Odyssey app, you can actually save a different calibration file for each one of those configurations. And then you can export those settings into the 7706 into one of two presets and easily be able to switch between those presets within the AV7706 itself. So now let's talk about performance. Now over say the past four years, I've owned several different Marantz products. I started off with the Marantz SR8012. I ended up upgrading to the AV7705 and then currently the AV7706 and then I also reviewed the SR8015. Now in my experience with Marantz, one thing that I really like about them is the reliability factor. So over the past five months of owning the 7706, for the most part, it's performed literally absolutely flawless. I mean, it just works. The reliability of when I'm watching movies or when I'm streaming audio, I've just had zero issues. There's only one issue that I've had and it may have happened maybe four or five times over the past five months and it's when I was playing games on the PS5. Every once in a while I would boot up the system so that would be the 7706, my PlayStation 5, and my JVC NX7 projector and once everything booted up and the projector came on the screen would just pretty much have this red hue across the entire picture. And to fix that issue, all I would have to do is turn off the 7706 and turn it back on, and then the image quality would be back to normal. Now, I don't know if that's an issue with the 7706, the PS5, or maybe even the NX7, or even just a combination of all three, but nonetheless, that is the only issue that I've experienced with the 7706 in the past five months. Now, when it comes to sound quality, I absolutely love how it sounds here in my dedicated home theater in my 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos system. Now in a previous video, I invited one of my friends, Derek, over to my home theater. And at that time I had the Marantz SR8015 set up in here. Now we went through a couple of demos together just to kind of get a frame of reference. And then we swapped out the SR8015 for the AV7706. Now he and I both didn't really expect to hear any difference because the SR8015 does have a new feature called preamp mode. Now in preamp mode, it basically disables all of the internal amplification in the SR8015. Now we both thought the SR8015 in preamp mode would perform as well as the AV7706, but both of us were really surprised because we heard a lot more detail in each channel. You know, to me, I just kind of refer that as channel separation. I don't know if that's exactly what that would be, but to me, I was just hearing more detail specifically in each channel. So there was better separation of each bit of content, whether it's your surrounds, or maybe the Dolby Atmos speakers, or your front LCR. Each speaker just had its own individual, very, very detailed content. And it just made for a very, very immersive experience. And it just sounds phenomenal. Now, over the past three years, I've reviewed several processors from other brands. 
And the biggest issue I had with them wasn't the sound quality, it was the reliability factor. A lot of times during my testing, I'd run into some bugs or some issues with their software or with the unit itself. Sometimes there were audio dropouts, sometimes it was calibration issues, and it just really didn't have the reliability that I experienced with the Marantz. And even some of the processors that have hit the market here in 2021, they're experiencing issues as well. Now with an MSRP of $2,600, the AV7706 isn't what I would consider inexpensive, but when you compare it next to other processors on the market today, it's very inexpensive. As you can see from this list, some of these processors can get up to $5,000. Some of them even get up to 10, 20, and even $30,000. But at $2,600, I think Marantz has provided an incredible product that offers a ton of features and quite frankly, just works. I truly believe that this is an incredible unit and at a great price point if you're looking at getting into separates. The 7706 is incredibly reliable, has a ton of features, and like I said, it's just one of the least expensive processors on the market today. Now, if you're interested in the 7706, I'll post a link to it down in the description below. I've also got a few videos here on the 7706 that you might be interested in. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.